Hey guys, this is Amjavid with another tutorial whether how we can create a simple timesheet and invoice in Excel. Well, while working as a freelancer, we are also expected to work on rotating shifts, which can be challenging regarding different aspects like health, socializing, etc. But sometimes it's more rewarding than the usual shifts, and when we work on rotating shifts, we need to track our time to know whether how many hours did we work on that shift and what would be the gross earnings. So to track all that, let's open an Excel file and to save time, I have already formatted some columns. It doesn't involve any typical formatting. It's just simple color formatting, like you just select an area and change its color and nothing else. Anyhow, here are the few things that need to be tracked. Like what was the date and shift? What time we started and stopped working? How many hours we worked? And then we definitely want to know our daily gross earnings and the notes whether what work activity left behind on that day or shift. Now write some date and drag it down to fill some cells. And instead of filling the day to day date, I'm selecting the weekdays option in the autofill options which doesn't include weekend days. And let's suppose it was a morning shift which started from 9 am and ended at 5 pm. And remember, you have to add AM or PM if you are using 12 hour clock time instead of military time, which is 24 hour clock time. And to learn more about time formatting, watch my tutorial named MS Excel Calculate Hours Worked in Excel with Different Time Formatting. I will also give its link in the description and card element. Now let's calculate the hours worked, which is end time minus start time. Here it picked the formatting too and gave us the answer in terms of AM or PM. But what we wanted it to be in terms of hours and minutes. So just change its formatting. And select this option under custom category and remove the last part. It will calculate the time and give us the answer in form of hours and minutes. And here you can see that we have worked 8 hours during this shift. And to calculate the gross earnings, we need to convert the hours into a numerical form, which we can do by multiplying the hours worked with 24 and changing the formatting to general. Well, why it's been multiplied with 24? Because when we work with times or hours, it calculates the answer considering the hours in a day. And we know that there are 24 hours in a day. That's why it's been multiplied with 24. Well, we have converted the hours worked. Now we can calculate our daily gross earnings quite conveniently. And let's suppose that our per hour rate is $25. Now just multiply the hours converted with per hour rate to calculate the daily gross earnings. And also, you can write some comments concerning your work, whether it's been all done or something yet to be completed, or anything else you think is important. Anyhow, let's suppose the next day we worked on the evening shift. We started from 2 p.m. and ended at 10 p.m. And to calculate the hours worked, just drag the formula down. And when we calculated the gross earnings by dragging the formula down, it showed nothing. And it's just because that we didn't lock this cell reference in the formula where we have written our per hour rate. So just double click on the cell to edit the formula and lock the address of the cell by pressing F4 key where we have written our per hour rate which is L6. Now drag the formula down and it will calculate the gross earnings as it should be. Well let's suppose the next day we worked on morning shift again. Now just write your start and end time and then drag the formula down to calculate the hours worked and gross earning of the day. Now when we return from the weekend, we were told to cover the midnight shift which started from 8 pm and completed at 3 am. Now it has given us an error regarding the calculation of hours worked, which we can solve by using a function named mod. It has two arguments, number and divisor, and the number would be end time minus start time, and the divisor would be 1. Now it has calculated the hours accurately. 
And if you want to learn why exactly Excel is giving us this problem which we have solved by using mod function, do watch my tutorial named MS Excel Calculate Hours Worked in Excel with different time formatting. I will give the link in the description. Anyhow, at this point in time, we have two formulas working in this column. If you want, just drag the mod function to all the cells. And suppose the next day we covered the evening shift. Here just add your shift timings and so on. Now calculate the total hours worked which we can do by using the sum function. Here you can select a certain range or you can simply select the whole column since nothing else will be written in that column and then press enter. Here it's giving us the total hours worked in terms of general formatting which we can change by going to the formatting and selecting this option under custom category and we can remove the last part if we want since we are not going to calculate seconds. And here are the total number of hours we worked which is 36 hours and 30 minutes. And exactly the same way use the sum function to calculate the total number of hours converted. Now to calculate the total gross earnings just multiply your per hour rate with the hours converted. And here is the total gross earnings so far. Now let's add one more shift. And here you can see that the worked hours have not only been calculated but also summed up accurately. Well, as a freelancer, if you send weekly invoices to your employer, you can add the whole detail in your invoice, since it becomes only 5 days and the detail is not too long. Just create an invoice template and copy and paste the weekly detail in your invoice and then add the performance bonus and advance amount if there is any to get the total amount due and then send it to your employer whichever way you like. Anyhow, this is how you can create your timesheet to track your hours worked and invoice them to your employer. And the biggest assumption of creating this simple time tracker is that lunch and tea times are fully paid. And if you have stayed this far, please consider liking and subscribing and I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.